guys, I'm so excited to just do this video. Like, I've just been waiting all weekend to just film it. I just, I'm just so excited. But actually, I forgot to moisturize my skin, so I'll be right back. So I've just moisturized my face. So I couldn't really find any, like, foundation for Makeup Revolution. I'm sorry if there is, but I just couldn't find it. So I thought, I did have this concealer palette. This is a cream concealer palette. So I thought, let me just work with this for my skin. This is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cover and Conceal Palette. This is what it looks like. I have used it quite a bit in the past. So I'm going to see if I can work with this. I also have my rosehip oil from The Ordinary. So I'm just going to mix this in with the creams. Just to kind of like make them more blendable. Just warm them up a bit. So I'm just mixing this one and this one for now. I just think today is not the day to film. The cream concealer didn't work, it wasn't that bad. I think it's actually quite nice. So now I'm going to go in with the Focus and Fix liquid concealer, which looks like this. I actually have no idea what the shade is, so I'll try and get the shade for you. Also, the slow cooker is cooking downstairs, so there's a, like that noise so I'm so sorry if I, I'm gonna try my hardest to cut it out but if I wait till it's done I won't have time to film and get this video up for you guys today so I'm really sorry about that guys I'm gonna blend that concealer this concealer literally feels like water I'm just gonna take some of the lighter concealer I'm now going to take some of my Luxury Banana Powder. Just do a bit of baking. While that's baking, I'm going to take some of my Duo Brow Definer Brow Pencil. This is what the pencil looks like and it's in the shade Dark Brown. And it also comes with like a slotted edge and a little brush. You do have to be very careful with this brow pencil because it's super like pigmented, almost like a, like a dip brow. So like my brows look very big right now. <laughs> I feel like I like this, like the pigmentation is unreal. But I just feel like without a brow gel, I feel like this product will slip off. It's so easy, like I'm barely touching a pencil and it's coming on full force. I might take some concealer and fix the shape of it. Let's see if I can salvage this. I want to. I feel that I just need to get a bit used to the brow pencil because my brows are very harsh right now. I do have to say, um, and in terms of like the foundation, foundation, in terms of foundation, well, I mean concealer. Right? It does feel. Just, that's just not working. I wish you could see what this is doing to my face right now. I'm trying to salvage it. So for the eyes, I'm going to use my Flawless 3 palette. This is the Resurrection one and I'm going to go in with this colour here. I'm now going to take this brown heel Look at 
like that that is without any primer or concealer under my eyes well on my eyelid i mean i swatched so many like makeup revolution products in the past like in stores and i've had other ones in the past which i've just thrown away because i never used them but this is by far the best eyeshadow palette like in just in terms of colors there's a good balance for like eight pounds they just blend like a dream I mean I like the face stuff but the under eyes is just looking like a total mess it's just looking terrible I'm now going to take this color and this color mix the two and put this on my lid so obviously I didn't have any mascara so I'm just gonna put some on at the end I'm gonna now move on to the rest of my skin I'm gonna use my trusty old contour palette ultra contour palette and i'm going to see if i can salvage my under eye using this shade here that's helped a little bit i'm now going to use this shade here For blush, I'm going to use this cool looking blush I got online. This is called the Gradient Highlighter in Sunlight Mood Lights. This was the one that looked the most peachiest and I love peach um, blushes. I'm just going to grab this side of it because this is too light for me. Okay, I love that blush. I really do. Now onto the exciting part. I got the new liquid highlighters from makeup revolution the shade i got is liquid bronze gold the only thing with this highlighter is that even though i got the darkest shade it's still quite really like cool and quite light this is what it looks like it comes with like a pipette and you can just drop it out like so with these you literally don't need that much so i'm just gonna watch a bit for you guys that's a dot and when you blend it look at that so doesn't that like look quite like light for my skin tone and it doesn't have that much like warmth to it it's quite cool tone but it is very pigmented so we'll see how it looks on my skin so i think what i'm going to do is i'm just going to like put some on my hand i don't have my beauty blender it's actually dirty and i didn't have time to wash it and the reason why i don't want to just rinse it and put it on my face is because i've been getting like spots from like not taking care of my brushes and my sponge so I'm just super careful and I'm really deep cleaning my sponge every time I use it so I'm going to just use my clean brush and I'm just going to go from the back of my hand like that tap this on my it's definitely intense guys I haven't tried the um, iconic London one, so I wouldn't be able to say if it's a dupe. But it, from pictures, it definitely looks like a dupe. And it's not too sparkly when you put it on the skin. When you blend it out, it does look a tad bit so Oh, and they set. They set. They don't stay wet on the skin. I'm very, very happy with that, guys. So yeah, that was the shade Liquid Bronze Gold. Oh my god, look at my skin. Like, even the concealer, it worked really well. It just didn't work well under my eyes. Like, that was a big no-no. But everywhere else, look. So that's my skin done. Now, I didn't get the lip kits for my lips because I had, I would say, not good enough reviews on it. So I didn't want to just put that in a video and make and I didn't want to use something that's not good that I know that's not going to work for me because to be honest I heard that it's quite sticky and I don't want that like I don't like that so I got the um iconic matte nude revolution lipsticks look at the packaging the packaging is so cute it's like rose gold wishful and inspiration and they are very matte like they're very creamy matte I'm probably going to wear inspiration today because I haven't got like this is inspiration, this is wishful. Like, wishful, I need a lip liner. I think I might need one for this, but we'll see. So, like, look how matte it is. I 
Okay, it's too light. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... I don't have a Makeup Revolution lip liner, but I'm still going... Actually, wait, I can just use concealer. Let's improvise. I'm going to use the darkest colour and mix it with another one. I'm going to improvise guys actually because it's dark enough I'm just going to go a bit with like wishful on the centre that concealer just made the lipstick look much more wearable I would definitely wear these with lip liner. So I'm just, I think I'm just going to pop some lashes on and I'll be right back. I just stuck on my eyelashes and letting it dry, but I'm just going to go with my brow pencil and just darken this bit a bit because I don't have any mascara. Right, so this is my full face of makeup revolution products. I'm shook. I'm actually, look at that. Guys, what is this? Like, I'm actually shook, apart from my under eyes. My under eyes are looking a tad bit cakey, but but that, it's not the powder. Like, I love my Makeup Revolution powder, but the concealer, I just don't think it works under my eyes. But everywhere, look how soft my skin looks. Guys, I just have to look, you can see, like, look at my under eyes, but look everywhere else. I look dewy except for my under eyes my under eyes still look presentable i would say like they're not that bad but i'm just like look at the eyeshadow eyeshadow palettes the 10 out of 10 for me contour palette i love it my favorite lipstick the eyebrow pencil i just have to get a bit used to and oh my god the liquid highlighter a big thumbs up i thought it was going to be too light but when i'm looking away from the camera it's not looking like ashy or anything so still wearable and it makes look at that glow it's not even like sparkly or anything you know okay well i'm quite happy actually with the, most of the things i mean the conceal the under eyes could have been better but i'm just loving like the liquid highlighter like it's really good and they're only like six pounds which is a bargain if you guys really like this video make sure to give this video a big thumbs up it really helps me out and um, tell me tell me what you think of this whole look like it's all makeup revolution i just can't believe that even the lips i made the lips work with concealer <laughs> yeah make sure to hit that bell button subscribe and welcome to the family i love you guys so so much and i'll see you next time bye